everyone welcome back to Dulce's Creations so today I'm going to do an abstract painting not a pour just an abstract painting and I'm only using three colors gold white and black I'm going to use Pebio Studio Acrylics the 352 iridescent metallic gold Okay, so um, one thing I did forget to say was it's a box canvas that I'm using and it is 50.8 by 40.6 centimeters or 20 by 16 inches. It's just bog standard from Hobbycraft canvas that I've got and that I am using. Um, now, I have a terrible cold so I don't want to be talking too much because it does make me cough a bit. I've put down a layer of the gold, but I need it to dry a bit more. I want to put a little bit more of the gold. And then I'm going to use some masking tape, but you'll see as I go along. But I just need it to dry a little bit so that I can put a bit more. It's still a bit wet. I, I did use my heat gun. Uh, maybe I'll use it a little bit more so... I'll see you in a few. Put some gold paint on my wall. Oh dear, and so it starts. I knew it was eventually going to happen. I just didn't think it would be with the first acrylic pour, which is not even a wild one. white that's why I want to give it a really good cover okay I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back okay so this is nice and dry I actually stopped and had lunch and did a few other things and let it dry by itself okay so now I'm going to take some masking tape and I'm going to create a design. I did see someone do this on YouTube. Um, if I find his video, I will link it to mine. But, of course, he was doing a huge, on a huge canvas, one of these that go on the wall, and, yeah. I just loved the way the colors were done and how this gold came out. So I thought I'd give it a try. I don't want to make it exactly the same. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to try and do something. See how it turns out. He does amazing, amazing art. I'll find the video I think I have under one of my likes. I'll find it and I'll link the video. And if you like, you can always go and have a look at all his other his other videos. Like I say, he really, really does some amazing art. I don't want to put any more. Okay, so now I'm just going to paint over the lines or over the masking tape. Just something just light, it's just so that um, you know there isn't a when I do the other colors is what I mean, that the gold stays within the, oh, I'm struggling, within the masking tape. Now the idea 
is to do the top white and sort of do a little design. Let's see if I can do this. And then at the bottom here, I want it to be, will be with the black. I'm just going to take this and see if I can actually, let me do sort of a wave like that. I'm going to turn it around. So I'm actually working with the white over here. No, hang on. Now it needs to go deeper in. So divide this in the two. Almost. So. Round about there. Right. Well, whether I do the black or the white doesn't matter. I'm going to use both, so. Of course, the aim is to cover up the gold, which might be a bit more challenging where the white is. I'll do the sides later because of the masking tape that has to come off anyway. Just trying to get rid of as much paint off the paintbrush as I can mm -hmm. instead of wasting it. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. brush and some water and do the other side. So I think the challenging bit is going to get the white not to go onto the black. I guess I can always bring the black down a bit more. Um, oops, I don't like keep making mistakes like that. Now, I do want a lot of white because of this gold. I don't want it to be shining through. I have a feeling the gold might take one or two coats. But we shall see. might actually get a smaller paintbrush and do that top part with a smaller one. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. I don't want to bring the black over, which is what I'm doing. say it definitely needs a second coat because I can see the canvas through it and I don't want that to be there so I'll give it a second coat um, which will also allow for the black to dry and then that but can be done properly
And again on the sides, I'll have to do it once the masking tapes come off anyway. So for now I'm going to let this dry for a bit and um, I'll come back and do a coat on both. See you in a few. Alright, so this has had two coats. I did the second coat off camera one day during lunchtime. So now mm. I should take off the tape. Mm -hmm. Now hopefully I have not left this on too long where it's just going to rip paint apart. bleeding I guess I can always um, paint delicately wherever there's bleeding Okay, there the, tape, ta the paint came away, so I'll have to do some touch, touch up there. And then just a few spots here and there where it has bled, both white and black. So I'll do a few touch ups on that. And then um, the sides, I had also painted them, so I'll just obviously do touch ups on that, finish it off, and then. Um, I'm debating whether I'm going to do anything else maybe on the corner here or just leave it alone and which side is up and which side is down is it the white or is it the black now there's a debate okay so all the tough traps have happened mm -hmm. And there is no more bleeds and I've actually decided I don't want to do anything else on it um, so I was considering doing something in the corner here and maybe in the corner there but I'm going to leave it because I absolutely love the way it has turned out there you go you can see almost all of it that would be the white at the top or we could do it that way. Or of course we could do it that way. Either way, I love it all. Please remember to stay to the very end. I'll take a couple of photos. It will be at least two weeks before I can varnish it. But I would like to thank you all so very much for being here with me. Please remember to like, subscribe, press that notification bell so you're notified of all the upcoming projects and there are quite a few. And um, of course if you do press that like, it does help my videos get out there and hopefully increase my channel. So once again thank you so very much for being here with me. But above all, remember, wherever in the world you might be, please stay safe, 
Stay well and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.